हाइट कितना देखो हाइट वन पॉइंट वन थ्री फोर So <coughs> this is the first screen which you have. You have either use continue with last job or you can create a new job. Okay. So it's a new job. Next, and if you give a name for the job, you for example we give the name as training. Click enter. Device. This has to be SD card. Mm -hmm. Then you go to coordinate system. Select the coordinate system. If you click here, you can choose whatever is required. So you select KTM. Click OK. Click store. And this is now you have reached the rover menu. Mm -hmm. So now you have to start the base menu. So you have to click go to work. Switch to base menu. Now you have reached the base menu. So now you have to go and start the yes, base yeah. station. So this is the on button. Click on this till you see the lights. Now the Bluetooth is on. You have an LED for the battery. That's a LED for the memory data storage, which is SD card, mm -hmm. and this indicates the station is configured to send data. So that's basically on the base configuration. Mm -hmm. The Bluetooth is turned on. You have the Bluetooth which is turned on on the controller as well. Now you can see. The antenna is getting connected. The controller is getting connected to the antenna to GS14 or the base station. So now the GS14 is connected. This indicates the battery of the CS indicates the battery of the controller. GS indicates battery of the receiver. The number of satellites which are available. You track 14 satellites are available in the area. You're tracking 10 satellites, five GPS satellites, and five GLONASS satellites. And this is the radio icon and that's the position icon so now we have a position which means we are ready to start the base so if you look over here you have an LED which is orange this indicates the GS14 has got a navigation position and we are ready to start so now we have to first click on click so we have to click on function and F7 just to make sure that you have track your logging raw data in case if you want to do a post processing that you can use this data to do post processing so log data post processing is set and click ok if you want to change the channel of a radio so you have to press the function and then press F10 so here you can change the channel of the radio if you want to put channel 1 or 2 or 3 you can make it over here so now we are setting it to channel 1 click ok so now we have to start the base station. We are setting up the point, the station over a known point. So we say go to work and then we choose start base over known point. So antenna height, we have measured the antenna height. It was 1.134. Click enter. The word RTK base antenna is GS14 tripod. The vertical offset is 26. So you click next. Now we have to select the point ID. If you click over here, the point ID is in the memory. Start the memory, so we say click new. We have to give a point ID, the coordinates for this point. Is that good? So now we have entered the coordinates Bargain for this control like point. Now that we too. click store. Click the point C3 is created. Click OK. And then you click now next. 
has arrived. We get a message which says space station setup is complete. Press rover to return to the rover menu. So now we have finished the base setup. Now we are going to go to the rover menu. So you click on rover. And now the connection between the controller and the base station is cut and you have reached now the rover menu.